So we're going to try it the old-fashioned way, or the way we're supposed to do it, which is power the device on and swap it live on the network without going through Sprint.com to activate. Every other phone, I've always gone to Sprint.com to activate, except for the odd occasion when it does the right thing. So we've powered the phone up. It's Googled its way to English. And I want that. English, U.S. Vision settings. I'm not that old yet. Start. Just a sec, it says. So we'll give it just a sec. You may have to pause while we throw in passwords and usernames and stuff. But connect to mobile networks. If you have a SIM card, start sim SIM-free setup instead. We'll try that. Connect to Wi-Fi. Focus is your friend. That's my... Here we go. Let me hit pause for a second. All right. We are authenticating with our Wi-Fi network. Since Sprint is one of the Google Fi Pass partners, this eSIM should work, but it doesn't like my Wi-Fi, so we're going to hit pause and try it again. All right, we've updated the password. I must have fat-fingered it, and we are connected. Checking for updates. May take a few minutes, as they note. Installing updates. Thank you very much. And we'll see if we get an activation prompt to put it on my account. One of our product ambassadors reported a little difficulty with this. They ended up, I think, getting an actual physical SIM to install it. Uh, this may take a few minutes, so we'll hit pause to save your viewing time until the updates are done. And bam, copy apps and data. You know what? I'm not going to copy because I want to start this thing off with a fresh, clean Android build. All right, we successfully signed into Google. Unfortunately, it cut the video because I'm videoing this on my Note 9, which is my other primary Google device. We get an agree screen to add my Google account. We're going to check and get account info. What a strange setup. I have not yet activated on a network. Just a sec. Google services. Why, of course, I want to accept all of your stuff, your legal terms and conditions. Now, we continue to check info. Confirm your carrier. Sprint. Okay, now we're going to go out and ping Sprint. And Sprint says, hey, give us your phone number and PIN. So we're going to blast a text message to the phone I'm recording on, which should be interesting. Probably drop the recording again. Fine. And we'll enable it on the Pixel, which is fine. And then we have a minute or two of setting up service. A relatively simple process. It's nice it doesn't take the computer, but you do need to know your phone number and your PIN or your MySprint account username and password. And bingo! Through the magic of time-lapse, Sprint setup is complete. That only really took about a minute. We'll hit next. Unlock with pixel imprint. That's probably what they call a fingerprint. So this will go through. We're going to set a pin off screen. And then on the center of the back is our uh, fingerprint sensor. So we tap that. And we do our usual business of tapping it 90 times. Next, continue setup, continue. And now we're going to go through voice match. I agree, I've already got a voice match stored on Google, so it should skip through that. Yep. And you're all set. Continue. Squeeze for your assistant. Talk to you anytime. Squeeze the bottom half of your phone. Squeeze and release. Wow, it has a squeeze box. I'm sure Led Zeppelin would be pleased. You can change the squeeze sensitivity at any time in settings. Squeeze, squeeze, well, that's fancy. That's a neat feature. Next, always on display, sure. Never hurts. We can add more email accounts, add more fingerprints, set up font sizes, wallpaper, lock screen, identifying music, review apps. We'll skip that for now. Today, we just want to get this running. 
For support, you can always go to Settings, Tips, and Support. All done. And then we're going to do our finishing touches, and we should pop out to a BAM! Stock crash. BAM! Stock Android screen, noting that it is 93 degrees. It is welcome to your new Pixel. And it's got lots of stuff that it's going to do for background updates, completing updates, network updates, installing support libraries. We'll let it sit on the table to do this. You don't need to see that. But it is a fully functioning mid-range, for values of high-end of mid-range, phone. Fully activated with Squeeze for Google Assistant. That's kind of cool. We're not getting anything there, but... Half swipe gives you search bar, recent uh, popular apps, and your recent apps. Tap, it goes away, back to your standard thing. So, we'll get these videos pulled off the camera, chop them together in Final Cut, and post this as how to activate your new Google Pixel 3a from Sprint. Again, Will England from the Sprint Product Ambassador team, demonstrating one of our newest and quite possibly most functional phones. Have a great day.